So school closed a little over a month ago, which means that we have been stuck at home since. Between working from home and homeschooling, I'm honestly lucky if I can even squeeze in a shower. The novelty of staying at home has worn off for my kids. They are going stir crazy. One, two, three, two, three, two. I am going stir crazy. I'm Caroline Tran and I'm a photographer based here in LA. I welcome you into my home to see how we are staying at home and managing to stay creative during this time. If you're at home with your kids and looking for a fun and engaging activity that you can do as well with your kids, here is how you can also create your easy stop motion animation. Step one, help them create a story. Find a subject that they like, something that they are inspired by and help them storyboard it for their animation. Step two, curate the materials that they're gonna need to build out this set. Use everyday household items. It could be part of their toys, it could be construction paper, things to bring their imagination to life in the set. Step three, place that set in a well-lit area. Step four, set up a tripod. If you don't have a tripod, you can set up a stack of books, prop it up on something stable. One thing to note is that you don't want it to move, so it needs to be very still. So the next thing you're gonna do is you can start capturing the animation now. So frame it, make sure that where the camera is, is a clean shot of the set. So now the fun part, you get to start taking pictures of your animation now. So you're basically going to be taking a whole bunch of pictures, frame by frame. And within each frame, you want ideally everything to stay still, except for what you want animated. I recommend creating at least five frames for every second of animation you want, at the very minimum. So for example, if you want a five second animation, that's gonna take a minimum of 25 photos. So it's a good math problem too for your kids. So now what you're gonna do is just start taking pictures and have your kids move their subjects little by little in each frame. The smaller the movements, the smoother the animation is gonna be. So have fun with it. Once you've taken all of those photos, you're gonna drop those photos into an editing software. So once you drop in all the photos, put them in the correct order that you want the animation to be, and you want each animation to be anywhere from 0.1 to 0.2 seconds long, is usually what I do for kids' animations. I feel like that's just the right amount of time. Um, and you'll be able to see the smaller the number is, the faster the animation's gonna go. I like it between 0.1 and 0.2 seconds each. And once you string it together, celebrate the beautiful stop motion video that you've just created. Have fun with it. I can't wait to see what you create. Please tag and share me so I can see it too.